TechScan presents Evaluating Closures. Topics Identifying the closure in the graph and the red and green force lines. Identifying the closure in the graph. To evaluate a patient's bite during closure, you first need to identify the key area to observe. The closure is located on the graph at the initial rise of the black force line and ends when the black line nears its peak. Watch as we use the zoom feature to focus in on this area. First click the magnifying glass, then click and drag a box around the beginning of the graph. Release. Red and green force lines. The red and green lines in the force first time graph allow the user to compare the forces between the left and right sides of the arch. Observing the red and green lines, the dentist can establish which arch half contacts first and which side is more forceful. Here are a few examples that display ideal and less than ideal left and right balance. The first example shows both the red and green lines overlapping. This demonstrates that the forces between the left and right arch are equal during closure. It indicates good left to right balance because the patient is not favoring one side versus the other. Note, the line that begins on the top of the graph indicates which side hits first. The second example displays the green line starting at 100%. This shows that the left side contacts first and remains more forceful throughout the closure. This force pattern may demonstrate muscular weakness because the red force line is slowly decreasing throughout maximum intercuspation. Pain and discomfort may be associated with the weaker side, leaving the patient to compensate to the other side. Common in TMD patients. The third example shows the red line starting at 100%, but the red line is overtaken by the green line, indicating that the left side becomes more forceful than the right. This force pattern may indicate a slide from the dominant side to the less dominant side. And finally, in the last example, it shows the right side starts at 100%, but is equaled quickly by the left side as the patient attempts to hold their teeth together. The left side gradually overtakes the right side as indicated by the slowly increasing green line. This suggests that the patient is trying to hold their teeth together, but the muscles are in spasm as indicated by the wavy force line. The wavy black, red, and green force lines may demonstrate muscle activating interferences, which may lead to pain within the muscles. In recap, evaluate your closure between the rise and the peak. Overlapping red and green lines indicate balance, which is ideal. And an unbalanced, wavy, and sloping red and green line is a negative characteristic.